we played pretty well in the first half, I thought, actually, very well. And um, there were these stretches, um, kind of played the score and not the game, and usually bad things happen when that happens. But honestly, you can't stop people from putting the ball two feet from the rim. You know, there's really not much else. You, you know, we, we also, we're not shooting the ball, obviously, very well at all. Uh, after shooting 48% from three in the first four games when we're three and one, now we're shooting 20% in the next five or something like that. I'm sure that was what the numbers would say, but really that was more about them putting the ball two feet from the rim and just scoring on us. Uh, so they, credit to them. I'm sure that that was their game plan. We kind of thought that that would be their game plan. They executed it. Uh, Liam. Yeah, I kind of want to talk about the offense. Like you guys kind of just falling off a cliff a little bit. I know you were missing Garrett today, so mm -hmm. you attributed to some of that. Um, but like, kind of, is there any, I mean, what do you think has happened? And is there any adjustments that you're thinking, you know? Yeah, no, I mean, we made some adjustments coming into the game and um, we, we have some, we have some limitations like all teams offensively. Um, but you know, we also, I think, have tried to put um, to make it easier on James in spots. Uh, obviously, June is a guy who's been very, very solid. We got a better game from Max today. Um, but I, 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 I do think like, hey, there's some level of like, hey, you hope water would find its level in terms of our shooting. Um, there are ways to sort of, you know, if you get stretched out, he's got some limitations offensively, you get him out and you play a little bit smaller. There are some things you can do. It winds up coming back to June often and, and James, because I think those guys, you know, in the middle of the floor, like when you think about our good wins, those guys together are a tough combination. So we try to put those guys in enough of those spots with shooting around them or stretching it through, you know, along the baseline. Um, but there's, yeah, I mean, everything's on the table to, you know, sort of tinker with. But again, it doesn't, it, tonight it was more about the ball being in the paint against us than I think it was the offense. Although I think when people are scoring on you like that, there is a, you, there's a little pressure that gets put on you offensively to say, oh man, I gotta like go do something here because we're getting scored on. You know, we were great in transition the first half because we got some stops. I guess just to ask, you know, there have been a few games where the game's completely flipped from the first half to the second half. Yeah. I was wondering from, you know, your viewpoint, what, what, what happened? Yeah, I wish I knew, you know, I would, I would try to stop it. <laughs> you know, we've had these stretches of good basketball uh, up at UMass, you know, good, good first half, you know, good game plan first half. Uh, here today, up 12, feeling like we were playing very well. Uh, at Richmond, playing very well. Even Dayton, close enough game in the first half, first 18 minutes or so. It was a nice defensive effort by us. Uh, but we've had stretches. We've had, you know, some some of that can be attributed to being a little bit younger, uh, for sure. You know, when you put some younger guys on the court. But uh, certainly we got to, you know, we, got, we have to understand that. But we can be better. We have to be better going forward in those spots. But, Archie mentioned that in the second half, he took, he went away from two bigs, went smaller and switched and thought that had them play better defensively in the second half. Did you notice that? And did you think that that bothered you? Yeah, I thought some of their matchups bothered us. Uh, the switching was, was probably good. You know, there's times when I think James um, can attack some switches um, and, and make you pay for switching guys onto him. But I don't think that was the case tonight. Um, Brian and I, I'm going to have to watch to see exactly what happened right. in that spot offensively. And you did mention the three-point shooting and uh, earlier and what has changed in the dip. But do you, as a coach, do you like the three-pointers they're taking? Is yeah. it simply it's not going in? I certainly think at UMass, yes, in the first half. That was sort of the beginning of this. Um, again, I would have to watch some. I certainly think there are ones that I like, and there's going to be ones that I don't like. You know, I don't know at what ratio that is. I'm not totally sure, but certainly there's ones where the, you feel like they're pretty good shots. Um, a couple in transition, you know. But again, I, it, it's going to be hard for us. We don't have a low post presence. June can score in there. He's a driver, right? You put shooting around him. 
if we can't make shots uh, at this rate, uh, you know, with the makeup of our offense, it's, it's going to be it's going to be difficult to put a lot of pressure on on us defensively. Liam, um, I'm just curious what kind of what the message was to the team post game. Obviously, you had this week off coming into this. Yeah, we had a great. I thought we had great practices. I thought we had good spirit. I thought we came out with good spirit. No, the message is like, look, you know, when you're going through hell, keep going. You know, there's nothing you can do. And, you know, most people uh, don't care that, that you're going through something. They don't, they have their own lives. And, uh, you know, there's some percentage of people that are happy that you're going through stuff. So there's nothing you can do other than come back to work, work to get better, keep fighting, uh, all those things. It tests you. It's not it's real, so it tests your competitive stamina. Like, how long do I want to do this without getting a better result? You know, uh, how, 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 how often do I, um, you know, how long can I adhere to the messaging and, and, and believe uh, versus, you know, kind of like feeling uh, woe is me and, and all that. And I think it's even more pronounced with a team that, again, started 14 and three and was playing, you know, probably their best basketball uh, at that point, you know. And so now that quick reversal of fortune for them, uh, I'm sure it's hard, I'm sure it's hard on everybody, but uh, there's really nothing you can do but, but just keep plugging away. Scott. Yeah, Rhode Island with uh, 26 points off turnovers, another big game where GW's have a lot of turnovers. Can you just talk about, you know, what the mindset is as to, you know, limiting turnovers and getting stops? Yeah, um, I think there's a certain number of those that were dead ball turnovers. I don't think we turned it over too, too much. In the first half, I think it was only like five, um, maybe late in the game when we're like, you know, we got to steal and stretch traveled and, um, uh, there's some some of those, but I don't know that they got too many, you know, open live ball ones. Um, we've done, it's funny, you know, we were shooting the ball very well and the, we were losing the possession game when we were winning, right? Like, you know, we were turning it over too much. We weren't getting enough offensive rebounds. We were giving up offensive rebounds. We have completely flipped that. We've done a decent job, not tonight on the glass, um, but statistically we've taken care of the ball a little bit better. We've actually gotten some offensive rebounds and we've limited uh, our defensive rebound issues. Uh, we, we just stopped shooting the ball well. <laughs> so we're, we're losing that battle now. Hey, yeah, I'm just curious, you know, in terms of like fans coming out and watching, you know, students who want to believe in the team, you know, what's, you've seen this rough stretch, what's your message to the fans? Oh, I, I think the, the message is, you know, it's, it's uh, one, uh, stay with us. You know, we're a young group. Uh, we've we've provided some good uh, moments thus far, you know, this season, and I think there'll be more where that has come from. Uh, and certainly, you know, part of being here and creating a great environment is you know, you're trying to help us, you know, get over the hump in those moments. Uh, I would also say, you know, hey, this is a fun place. I mean, it's a fun environment. Whether you know uh, we win at the buzzer or lose at the buzzer or you know get into a rough stretch in the second half, whatever with this young crew, shouldn't take away from creating a great environment in the Smith Center, but. Uh, they help us. They're, they're tremendous uh, enthusiasm. Even tonight, you know, down the stretch when we were, it was a little bit out of hand, I thought they had great, you know, spirit and, uh, uh, you know, we'll get there. We're just starting. I mean, we're really still building this thing, uh, you know. So I'm disappointed in our play the last two weeks. Kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, but, you know, we can, we can quickly turn it as quickly as it, as it, it went south. Any other questions? All right, thanks everybody.